This is Late Night Help. This is the radio show that cares about the most important part of your life, your health. Hi, I'm Mark Allen. During the next two hours, Daryl Wayne and I are going to present all kinds of interesting things that affect each and every one of us from, you know, the, the, um, the, the, the kids leaving and, and you're wondering if they're going to come back home to Constellation Healing with our co-host today, uh, Gary Stewart, Fine, who thank returns. You. Hey, Gary. Thank you. Wonderful to be here. And it, Gary has opened up a whole new world to us. Uh, including Robert Clancy, yes, uh, who's a regular on the show, and and Gary's a, a, a semi-regular, so that's good. And we have a new person that we that Gary introduced me to, and that's Tina Dietz. When I met Tina in San Diego, sometime in February, yeah. mm-hmm. do you remember what her opening words were before I bring her on? It was very funny. It was. <laughs> she came out and she said the most wonderful sound in the world the best sound in the world is when i hear my own voice (laughs) and i just cracked up i was actually running camera at that time gary was helping me and um uh uh, videotaping this the seminar and tina do you you do recall saying that of course the actually the exact quote is I have always loved the sound of my own voice, and it's true. (laughs) And I have to tell you, when I hear myself back, and Daryl, we've been doing this for, what, 40 years? Yeah, 45, don't exaggerate. Oh, God. (laughs) (sighs) Ah, Yes. Do you do you like the sound of your voice when you hear it back? I I have a very critical ear and my voice changes day to day and you know I have good days where I go yeah that's the way I think I'd like to sound or I'd like to hear myself on the radio and then there's days where I'm going I just got to get through this. Got it. Yeah. Well, maybe uh maybe Tina will help us get through it. Tina, we're going to talk a little bit about voice. Uh, Tina by the way is uh, one of the top uh, uh, podcasters in the country, as well as one of the top podcasting consultants in the country. And we're going to do something a little bit differently. We're going to tie it to health and Mm -hmm. talk about your inner oasis and unleashing your creative spirit. Because if you're happy creatively, my feeling is you're going to be happy and healthy as well. Would you agree with that, Tina? Oh, yes, absolutely. It's uh, we. The old saying goes, you know, no man is an island, and we're certainly not, um, you know, disparate parts all over the place. We're a whole being. How did you get into this voiceover, radio, uh, you do um, uh, audio books, more audio books are sold than print books on Amazon every holiday season? That's true. Right. Yep. How did you get into this, and how can this help us with our own creative spirit? Oh, wow. Um, how long do we have? Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll take it a piece at a time. Yeah. Right. Now, um, you know, the story for me starts way, way back when somebody handed me a tape recorder when I was about two years old, and it became my favorite thing, my absolute favorite thing. And so when I say that I love, I've always loved the sound of my own voice, it's always been a creative act for me to enjoy everything that our voices give us to offer, you know. And, and you know, many times in the world of spiritual personal development, we talk about this, uh, the concept of I am and how I am is a very powerful statement, your declaration of being and kind of how we bring things into the world. Well... Our voice was our first declaration of I am, you know, our first cry. You know, Mm -hmm. we learn how to speak or we learn how to make noise, you know, before we we learn that type of communication, before we learn anything else. Mm -hmm. So it's always been, it's been a lifelong uh, joy of mine to explore, you know, all of that has to offer. Um, And I did a lot of musical theater growing up, but, you know, for many years I've been um, a business consultant, business coach, helping people with their businesses, but what I kept coming back around to was really helping on people unleash their voice, kind of unleash their purpose and their message and this creative spirit that they have, because that is the, the central part of, you know, what most folks 
who are um, truly heartfelt, truly who want to leave their mark on this planet, want to leave it a better place, you know, what we all want. So that has uh, really become kind of my central mission. And how I do that is by helping people turn their books into audiobooks helping get the word out about who they are in the business world. And one of those ways, of course, is, is podcasting. And, and how, does, how does unleashing your creative spirit help with, with health? In other words, I know a lot of people who are, you know, very stressed in their jobs, in their entrepreneurship, because they've got so much to do there's only so much time to do it in a day and you have to do everything and you get behind and oh my gosh and all the stress which does affect health yeah yeah so it's our creative spirit that really can tie things together so many people confuse the whole idea of creativity with um, becoming good at some form of art and that's actually not the type of creativity I'm talking about. I'm really talking about the desire to create, to actually bring something forward and forth and bring it into the world and make it happen, which all of us at one time or another have had that urge and, and, meant, and we're very familiar with it in childhood. You know, we can turn into things when we're children and mm-hmm. believe it. We can imagine things very large. And then we, we tend to, you know, box ourselves in as we get older. But if you know, in terms of stress, which I think is the number one uh, issue in health, probably that we can we can point everything back to stress. If we take the point of view that we can be creative, and on the tail end of, of creative, we can be curious about okay, I'm in a very stressful situation. I've got 19 gazillion things to do. I can take the tactic of feeling trapped and just putting my nose to the ground stone and just pound it out, pound it out, pound it out, pound it out, no matter what. Or I can take the tactic of saying, what if I were to bring creativity and curiosity to this scenario? Mm -hmm. How does this all connect together? If I feel like I'm trapped now, how can I create a pathway that's going to lead me out of this? How can I use my current scenario as a tool? How can I use it? To leverage myself out of the scenario I don't want to be in into a scenario I do want to be in, and, and that's where it ties together. And uh, we've got three people that that you know, Daryl and Gary and I are all uh, uh, looking for this kind of help, mm-hmm. and we appreciate that. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Right. right? Yes. Uh, our guest is Tina Dietz, uh, and you can find out more about Tina at yourbusinessoasis.com, dot com. Your business oasis dot com. When when I introduced you, we talked about audio books, and there's a, a couple of interesting things. First of all, as I said, audio books are selling faster and more of them than print books. I'm not sure I like that because I love reading. I like the, the tactile feeling of a book, though I do read a lot off of an iPad as well. Also, at the same time, I like – I personally um, – like to visualize by reading. Are more and more people uh, uh, listening to other forms of audio, such as podcasts and general radio, like we are on, and we also podcast our show as well, are more and more people listening to audio and, and, and using audio to get their message out? Well, let me clarify one thing before I answer that fully, and and because I'm I, <laughs> I'm going to irritate my colleagues in the publishing industry. So the actual statistics are that pub, uh, the audiobook segment of publishing is growing about three times faster than any other segment of publishing. And in 2015, 1.5 million more audiobooks were downloaded than eBooks mm. specifically. So the growth is very high, and they're definitely outstripping eBooks by far. But print books are another matter, so don't worry. Print books are still are still doing okay. People are still <laughs> reading a lot of uh, of print books, and I'm I'm relieved of that. Well, because I would say you know b- books have been some of my best friends since I was very very tiny, and I don't want to see them going anywhere. But right. audiobooks have grown tremendously 
in popularity because of a couple of reasons. One is the accessibility of them. It used to be, remember, we used to have to go and, and buy a whole set of like eight or ten CDs mm-hmm. to get one book, right? right. Mm-hmm. So the production cost on that was extremely high. The distribution cost on that was high. Um, and they were pricey. It was like 50 bucks to get an audiobook. Uh, so that's all changed now because everything is through our phones and everything is through our computers. And, um, you know, Audible and Amazon kind of merged together and have given people just this tremendous amount of access to audiobooks, and people are listening more and more because they can listen from anywhere, and they can listen in their cars or at the gym or in their commute or on a train or whatever the case may be. And that accounts a lot for the popularity of that. And of course, it's a busy at the, lifestyle. And of course, at the same time, people are hungry. They're thirsty mm-hmm. for information, whether it's just fun, science fiction kinds of audiobooks, or business-oriented or spirituality Mm -hmm. or health Mm -hmm. kinds of of things. All right. Well, our guest uh, in studio, we have Gary Stewart, uh, the author of Master Your Universe, How to Direct and Star in Your Own Life. And on our phone line from the East Coast, we have our friend Tina Dietz. uh, And Tina is with YourBusinessOasis.com. And she's going to help us clarify your creativity Get rid of all that stress in your life. We'll find out more about that as Late Night Health continues. Join us at LateNightHealth.com. If you or someone you love suffers from drug addiction, now is the time to utilize your private health insurance PPO plan. If eligible, receive up to $30,000 or more in substance abuse benefits with low or no out-of-pocket cost. We are the National Treatment Network, the premier drug and alcohol treatment referral service operating 24-7. We help connect you with facilities nationwide that accepts PPO private health insurance for substance abuse. If you have PPO substance abuse coverage and you need immediate admittance to a medical detox or residential rehab treatment center, call us now. Call our live referral helpline today. The call is free. This program is not available to Medicare or Medicaid customers. Call 800-296-1252. 800-296-1252. 800-296-1252. That's 800-296-1252. Are you being audited? And do you owe the IRS $10,000 or more in back taxes? Is the IRS threatening to take more of your money? Don't fight the IRS alone. The tax doctor is here to help you negotiate a lower tax bill. The IRS can freeze your assets and seize your bank accounts. But you can stop these IRS actions. The tax doctor will fight for you using Using industry secrets that can stop any IRS actions, eliminate penalties and interest, and reduce your past tax bill. So you pay the IRS less. If you owe $10,000 or more in back taxes, call the tax doctor now for a free IRS audit emergency review. 800-663-5107. 800-663-5107. 800-663-5107. That's 800-663-5107. 